Yo, 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 okay, okay, hold up, got questions. How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to Flames Plays, and today we're checking out the convenience store. It's available over on Steam. I'll have a link down below if you want to check it yourself. We'll click on start and check it out. So apparently we are going to be college girls. Yay! Uh, work in a convenience store. It's time. We need to get ready for work. All right. I think we're college girls, at least. We're college girl, I think. Let's see. Slept well. Well, judging by the voice I just heard, yes, we are indeed college girls. A col not, we're not college girls. We're not multiple girls. Well, we could have multiple personalities, I guess. But we do have a little stuffed mouse squirrel thingy. I think it's a squirrel, actually. I don't know what that is supposed to be. It looks cute, though. It's adorable. I love it. How do I get ready for work? Okay, well, that's that. Where is this here? It's dark outside. Oh, I just, I'm commenting on it. Not actually going out that door, I guess. A cute little quaint bedroom with some not so quaint walls. Uh, you know what? We better lock. We gotta we better close the door. Can we lock that? Make sure nobody's gonna bar. Gotta bring a flashlight. Oh wait, to the bathroom. I gotta bring a flashlight to a bathroom. Okay. Don't know what that all is. And we have what looks like a kitchen. Maybe. Yeah, I think. Maybe. You know, there's pots and pans everywhere, but also garbage in the corner and no refrigerator. Ooh, pick up flashlight? Of course, there we go. We can, oh, we can go investigate what this is. Yes, this is indeed a kitchen. These are burners. Okay. This is, we're, we don't live in a very nice apartment, I will say. Or house, or second floor. Looks like. Unless this just leads to, yep. I need to eat something, change, and grab a flashlight before I leave. Uh all right. So, I, oh, here's a refrigerator. Oops. How do I eat something? Do I cook food there or what? Oh, bag of chips. That's that's a great meal right there. Maybe not. Oh, there you go. We have meat. Oh no, we have it, it's a dinner, like a TV dinner or something. Microwave to warm it up. Oh, of course, why not? While that's doing that, we'll get changed into our work clothes? Oh, change clothes? Yes. I mean, might as well multitask. Get the uh, the best out of our time we have available before going to work. I feel like we could just eat the chips, it'd be a lot quicker. We gotta close that, save electricity. No, while we're at it, why don't we close these doors, just be polite. Oh, is this like real-time microwave right now? That's, is that what's gonna happen? Oh, there you go. Food time, eat bento, yes. Oh, a little bento box. Cute. Uh, do you normally warm up bento boxes? Yeah, I guess. Like, some components of them. I've only had one bento in my life. It was a sushi shop downtown Philly. And I was actually on jury duty at the time. And got, like, two orders of sake while I was there. There we go. Yeah, we really don't live in a good neighborhood. Our sprint's kind of a little weird. You all tunnel vision with it. But I mean, judging by the fact that we live in the back of everywhere with a chain wall on our side, it doesn't seem like the best neighborhood. Oh. Go up the stairs and down the path. What? Oh, uh, uh, uh. There we go. Uh, it just pushed me to the side for some reason. Where, oh, where, oh, where is this leading us to? I guess we go here. Um, okay. Are buildings in Japan really designed this way? This seems weird. This reminds me of like Ready Player One. I think everything's all stacked up and stuff. I've never been to Japan. I would like to go one day. But I also feel like my lack of knowing Japanese would really hurt me if I were to visit. Although, apparently, a lot of things are in English, which is nice, but at the same time, I feel like that's... I don't know, I don't know what phrasing. Um, like, appealing to tourists at the same time. Like, I, I hope you get what I mean. Like, I, I wouldn't want to... Like, it's the same way of, like, if you come to America and you speak French, like, I'm not going to be like, oh, get out of here, just because you don't speak English. Like, I'd be like, okay... We've Google Translate. We have a lot of technology these days which allow you to keep your your 
not nationality, I guess, like your your heritage. Hello, homeless guy. How you doing? Are you okay? I know what really happened here. I was called to warn you all by the name I cannot speak of. Voldemort. The day of judgment will come. Aye. Okay. You have fun with that. Why is there like a van here? That is a uh, ooh. Mmm. Mmm. With tinted windows. I don't like that one bit. I'm just a little college girl. Which does not seem to... Hey. Oh god, you made it. Hmm? Oh no, it's just that I recently heard someone had fell off the bridge you just crossed. There was an old lady that said she saw a man walking down the street with his leg completely bent the other way. Scary stuff. If only this was a true story. Ha <laughs> ha. Ha. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Enter counter. Uh, let's take a look around. We'll do some surveillance first. Oh, what was that one game I played by? What was it Rabbi Carrot Juice? Juice. I've been drinking only that recently. Highly recommended. Oh, cool. Uh, I actually don't think I've ever drank just carrot juice. What does it say? Thank you for always keeping the toilet clean. Ali convincing. Yeah. Just ask someone politely, and they'll be sure to do that. I need to turn flush it off. This makes sense. I rarely buy magazines, but I do buy Austin Lee magazines. Do you buy them rarely or frequently? Also, art magazine. Oh, God. Oh, I thought someone was coming in. All right. Let's just enter the counter. Let's get to our shift. Sorry. Oh, okay. Guess not going to really say much here. What's this? Oh, it's a time card. Cool. Well, I guess we'll punch in. Punch in? Sure. Oh, I want to read the two things first. I think some food are expired by the time you start your shift. Can you take them off the shelves for me? Your manager. Our, our dude's name is your manager. And we can use the CCTV. Someone just walked in. Uh, how do I pull up camera? Oh, he actually left. Uh, do we have camera footage on the homeless guy? I was just showing. Oh, car coming up. Oh, car parking. Oh, we gotta get. We gotta get out. We gotta, we gotta get out. How do we get out? Escape. Q. Tab. Oh, okay. Or not. Oh, okay. Something worked. I don't know what it was. Someone's walking in. Where's our shotgun? Do we have a shotgun? The microwave back here. Neat. Hello, well-dressed man. Businessman of sorts. Salary man. Oh, I was like, what does that sound? It's probably a car just driving away. It's fine. All good. Anyway, there was another game that we played as a convenience store owner, and it actually had Fucat. Oh, it was Northbury Grove, I think. Or by the developers of Northbury Grove, Scythe. Um, but it had had Fucat as the uh as the guy who was on, that you were relieving duty from. And if you don't know who Fucat is, uh he's a YouTuber, recently passed ten thousand subscribers, so I just, congratulations on that, man. Aspirations for sure. But it was like normal-ish. And then as people came in, it got weirder and weirder. And it all accumulated into a, a very, very effective jump scare. I must say. You want to pick up the pace there? But didn't you have a basket when you walked over? Now you just have what looks like a box of cereal and a tube. Oh, you're buying a bento. I just had one of those. And so, oh, there you go. I can reel up here. Oh, uh, there you go. Uh, thank you. Come again. Alright, I can't move either. I can't look around. Is this the game? Is I'm just going to be checking people out? Oh, I had to click. Oops. Alright, so back to the CCTV. Yeah, let's use that. Take a look at the cameras. Alright, so he's driving away. Oh, that was a really sharp turn, dude. Impressive. The car could do that. God, I'm waiting for like an I'm waiting for an animatronic to show up now. Anytime I use CCTVs in a game. Let's see. Anything else gonna happen? I never actually I, I so I didn't work in a convenience store. I worked at a deli that had a very similar to a convenience store, I guess. And uh I worked there for a while in my teenage years. Basically as a way to make like, you know, just a little bit of change. Ended up getting promoted to manager. It's it's not something I would recommend, honestly. Like working in food service, especially like any kind of like like 
I guess like sales service or anything like that. Oh, I saw a van pull away. Um, why did that open? Uh, how do I get out again? Okay, I don't know if it's Q or E, but something's happening. Okay, yeah, I'll exit the counter. What's going on with this? It's just freaking out. It's freaking out. Okay, let's see. Is our friend? Okay, the van is gone. How you doing, buddy? Bring me food or you will receive eternal punishment. Jeez. Oh, I got some expiring food, I guess. 13 bucks an hour night shift. This is the reason why I'm here. Okay, well, we fixed that. We gotta find that expired food, though. I rarely buy magazines. Austin Lee magazines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should probably close the bathroom door. Looks a little grody if we leave it open. Uh, right by carrot juice. Only thing I'm drinking recently. Highly recommended. We know all that. Oh, God. What is all this? Some food. So they said some food had expired. I don't see any. I just assume it would give me something to interact with. Oh, no. Oh, no. I hate this. I hate this. Oh, no. The fact that there's a, an open door like that is bad. Looks like some are expired. Oh, we found it. So, take items. Yeah. Okay, so... We know that some of these are expired. We'll give it to the to the guy. Yeah. If we're just gonna throw them out, we might as well give them to someone who's gonna enjoy them. There you go. Give expired food? Sure. Have fun, buddy. Farewell, friend. Why are you following me? Don't do- No, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't. Don't you come in here. Yeah, that's right. You walk away. Cross the street. Just keep an eye on him. I don't trust him. Okay, we'll keep the door closed, though. All right, I think we're good there. Sankuya's choice? Hey, I'll give it a try. Uh, okay, I was going to say, can I actually pick that up and give it a try? Looks like somewhere expired. Take the items? Yeah, sure. We'll take him to the... the oh, dumpster. Probably a dumpster out back. Oh, which means I get to go through that back door. Oh, goody. Oh, goody, goody gumdrops. Yep. Here we go. Just gonna go approach the dumpster. Nothing's gonna happen bad, right? Man, we are rooting in there. We are rooting through there for a moment. Right, close that door. Whoo. God. Look, I didn't enjoy working in an actual gr uh, actual deli. Like, I don't know how I'm enjoying this. This shelf looks fine. This is fine. This is all fine. I, mean, I don't think I would enjoy working in a game. Or, I wouldn't think I'd enjoy it. But the fact that I know this is a horror game, the tension's pretty good. Did I just see something? No. I guess this is like... Is this like an, like an all-you-can-eat kind of thing? Or like you buy by the pound? Something like that? I don't know what that is. There's something over there. Oh, wait, that's the... Yep, enter the counter. Cool. Okay. Oh, hello. Oh, you got a delivery for me? Thank you, Mr. Amazon. How's it go? It's kind of late for delivery man this time, huh? We recently incorporated the system exclusively for convenience stores that are open late at night. Looks like this package is directly shipped to this store. Oh, and the name matches your tag. I think this is for you. Oh, no. Oh, take it home. No, open it now. Okay, fine. We're going to take it home and I'll... What? What? Okay, I got a VHS tape. Oh, okay. Cool. The microwave just turned itself on. That's great. Oh, there's a VHS there, or VCR there. Watch closely? Yeah, of course. We got a tape for as a gift. Why would we not check that out? This new version of the Blair Witch Project is not great. Alright, so that looked like someone was... Like, recording... I guess that was supposed to be us? Wait, did I really just go home during my shift? Is that what happened? Oh no, I have to probably grab the flashlight. Yeah, I gotta do all this again. Nope, we gotta... Nope, we don't have the pinto box. And our clothes aren't there. 
Can we just can we just take the mouse for like comfort sake? I kind of feel like I want to hug the mouse as you walk through the dark, spooky hallways. Oh, we gotta we gotta lock the door. We gotta close the door at least. I don't think there's an actual lock, but we can open the door first. My nose is like really itchy right now for some reason. First night. It gives me a chance to at least scratch my nose. Oh, that wasn't the first night. This uh, that what we just did was not the first night. Now it's the first night. Okay, well we'll take a different path to get there, I guess. Oh, it's it's very dark. Very hard to. Oh, uh, cool. The uh, that ladder's broken. That's fantastic. Got to go the long way. Gotta go the long way. Gotta walk through these dark, spooky hallways. Uh, okay, or not. Yeah, this is the way back here. Hmm. Oh, right, these, these stairs. These stairs work. And from here, we can go across this way. Boosh. God, it is so much darker than it was the other night. Did I just hear something? I thought I just heard like a machine whirring. Something springing to life. Something that wants to eat my face. More than likely. At least not my face. It's probably the, the least delicious part of me, I think. There's something? Oh, no, that was just that. Where am I going? It's very hard to tell where you're actually going in this game because this night is so dark. Can I, can I cut through your house, please? Oh, I can, actually. Whoops. Okay, I guess, I guess that works. And then this should lead us right on out. That's the bridge. There we go. And we found the convenience store. Huh. So there... I don't know if that if that story about someone falling off the bridge was true or not. Could have just been him messing with us. Could have been the, the truth and we would never know. How's it going, buddy? You good? Hey, hey! So I heard you reported that the doors would open on their own. Well, we got a guy to check the sensor, and it seems like the wirings were loose. Oh, you thought it was some sort of poltergeist? I see those on TV all the time, but they're all scripted. Ghosts aren't real after all. I mean, I agree, but you might piss off some people with that. Oh, would you please punch in? Jeez, I got really into his face, too. My bad. I saw some rats behind the store yesterday. Someone must have left the garbage bin open. The first person to see this note has to get rid of the rodents ASAP. Your manager. I'm guessing you you pretend not to read the note, didn't you? Okay, let's punch in. And he's gonna leave. We gotta go deal with the rats. Yes, we're gonna exit. We'll go deal with the rats while he leaves. We should be able to hear the doors open at least. Very loud. Very chirpy. Right, so there's the yeah, there's rodent killer. I'm actually oh my god, I have to spray six mice. Oh jeez, these mice like really wrecked the place up. Holy crap. By the way. So if a person comes in though, like I'm just gonna be holding rat poison. Which seems very oddly suspicious, if you ask me. Three out of six. Four out of six. Is there another one? Where are more? Where are you, little mousy bastards? There you are. Found one. We got one more left. I feel kind of bad about killing the mice. They're just doing their work. That's all they want. They just want food. Oh, there you go. There's the last one. All done. All right, awesome. So now we are safe to go back in, close the door. Come back over here, close that door. Perfect. Just in time for a customer to show up. If someone does show up. Yep, go behind the counter. Uh, car just drove past the lake. Right, let's pull the CCTV. Yeah. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Gotta, gotta get out. Gotta get out. Or do I? Yeah. Okay. Old lady. No big deal. We can we can just easily. We can take her. We can take her if she becomes a problem. What's up, Granny? Want to throw hands? Let me. I kind of feel bad now. Let me ask if she needs assistance. Let's see. Do, do you need help? Do you need help blinking? No? You just... 
Wait, what's up with your neck? Your neck is very red. Oh, <gasps> Granny, are you a vampire? In disguise? I'm gonna say with that limp, probably not. We'll just, we'll just go back behind the counter. We'll let her do her thing. She wants independence. That's all she wants in her age. Her parent, her, uh, her grandchildren offered to put her in a home, and she's like, no, I don't want to be bother. I'll just live my years out in my little cottage. You, you're gonna be in there for a while, aren't you? Yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're, you're gonna. Please. There's a sign. There's a sign on the wall. It says, please make sure the toilet's clean. That's all I ask. I don't think she's gonna listen to me. I don't think she's gonna listen to me at all. Okay, well, yeah, let's use CCTV. She's gonna be there for quite some time. Nothing behind there. No one's showing up. Nothing. A whole lot of nothing happening right now. Oh. Oh. Damn, that car. Man. Turns on the dime. I need to get out of the camera. I need to get out of the camera because someone's coming to the, the store. What's up, buddy? What's up? How you doing? Oh, I love your sunglasses, dude. Hey, I'm in a hurry. Now, could you please fetch me five cans of beer and a pack of cigar? Hurry up. I don't... Do I... First of all, rude... Second of all, where the hell is all this stuff at? Uh, cigarettes. cigarettes. It's not a cigar, it's cigarettes. Uh, beer? Where'd beer be at? Go get, go get it yourself. Yeah, kind of a dick move. You don't just tell someone you need something like that. Is that... Is this Ahi? Okay. Well, can I just, like, throw him at him for being a dick? Okay. Do I have to actually- oh my god, I have to go back for each one individually? No, I don't want to do this. Not like this. How, how many- where? Why can't I pick any more up? Oh. Oh, Q to drop item. Please, okay. So I can literally drop them. I picked up five, but they're all stocked up on top of each other. Uh, you know, I'm gonna give you four beer. That's you're, that's what you're gonna get, dude. You wanna be a dick? You're gonna get four beer. I wish I could. I really wish we could just tell him to go get him himself. This guy's a total ass. Oh, you want you want you want this delicious cold beer? Go pick it up, bitch. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I'd associate that with that, but you know, whatever. Right, uh, oh, I can actually hit him for like a pretty decent distance, but really wish I could just. Nail in the face with one of these cans. Being a turbo jerk. Alright. That's all of them. Boop and boop. Let me go ring them up, I guess. Uh, dick. Uh, I need a scanner. Scan this phone. Thank you. I like how he didn't say come again. Uh, let's go check on Granny, I guess. She's been in there for a while. Oh, no, oh, jeez, okay. Uh, so I, wasn't, I wasn't gonna knock on your door and worry you. I'm not worried about you, just make make your decisions. Anytime now. Would you like a bow? A little bow bun? There are uh, four, eight, uh, 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 11? Ele 11 of these in, them in here. And I'm gonna be honest, they do look delicious. I love uh, red bean bow buns. So good. It's so hard to find for me though. Like, there's none around me, in, around my area that uh, there's no places around my area that actually has like fresh bow. You okay? Oh god, she's just standing there. I thought she was gonna like walk up. Don't don't tell me you made a mess. Stupid door. What do you want? Uh, huh? Where's Kenkun? You know where Kenkun is? I thought I heard his voice. This was my daughter's house. What did you do? How dare you? What are you talking about? Just, okay, did you at least leave it clean? Yeah, we're gonna flush the toilet just in case. We didn't even close the door. Damn. People say millennials are entitled. Jeez. It's, it's common courtesy. 
close the door. Don't let the stank out. You probably didn't even hit the air freshener on your way out. You just used our bathroom, insulted me, told me you lived here, and then left. She didn't even buy anything. How's that gonna look on our, uh, on the security cameras? And that shows up. All right, use the CCTV. This is interesting. All right, Granny's still power walking away. Nobody is, uh, showing up. There's something that's like unsettling enough about this game where it's like, huh, weird. Nothing actually scary has happened. Aside from uh, that homeless guy that we gave the bread to. Yo, 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 okay, okay. Hold up, got questions. I have questions and concerns. There was a child that just ran up to the door. It looked like, but they were very pale. And that concerns me quite a bit. Uh, anyone out here? Okay, I guess not. Oh god, oh, big truck. Alright. Okay, well, I guess let's get back behind the counter. Probably just making like a delivery, uh, a, uh, not service delivery, uh, what's it called? A stock delivery, inventory, that's the word. Mm -hmm. I definitely was a manager in a deli over a decade ago. <laughs> Uh, is he gonna, is he gonna come in there? Okay, I'll check the CCTV out. God, of course, right when I hit the button and check out the CCTV, that's when he shows up. All right, hey, what's going on? Good to see you again. Oh, you know, the unstoppable trend on ordering everything online? Anyway, there seems to be a package that needs to be picked up here. Uh, is there? Package that needs to be picked up. Oh, here we go. Got it. Here you are. Give package? Yeah, sure. Enjoy. I, I I did not ask him for any credentials or anything, but he just showed up in a truck and I said, yeah, not my problem. Oh, uh, well, it's a very busy late night shift. Also, I just realized if we're college students, realistically, night shift would be like studying. Like if I'm a college student, which I mean, when I was in trade school, and actually was working. Uh, one of the stores they had me that's positioned at was so dead that in a two-day shift at Saturday and a Sunday, we sold four things. It was a deli, so it was like I think it was literally four pounds of cheese, which was like one of the cheaper things we sell too. We sold two, two ninety nine for a pound of cheese. That also shows you how long ago this was. It was American cheese, not great. Wouldn't recommend it. Uh, but like, I would just be there, notebook on the counter, working on my, uh, studying, jotting down notes. I think, um, at one point I was doing, uh, binary conversions and subnetting. So I would just be documenting a whole bunch of stuff. One of our, one of our projects was we had to scope out an entire networks, uh, design. So it would be like servers, uh, printers, fax, uh, not faxes, but printers, networking devices, like switches and routers and, uh, network and actual network devices and uh, computers and stuff like that. I don't know why I keep saying devices over and over again. Uh, so I'd be like, okay, 192.168.1.x would be all the computers. 192.168.0. Uh, well, I guess it would be like probably 1 through 32, which you would actually not use. It, actually, no, 1 through 32 would be fine. You'd, you would need... 0 would be the gateway. Would be the um, network devices. And then like 32 to, 30, to 64, which would actually be... Uh, 34, because 33 would be the gateway. The 64 would be the different. Uh, no, actually, no, wait, no. Oh my god, I'm actually drawing a blank on subnetting. Uh, it would be one through thirty, one through 31. Zero would be the gateway, and you cannot use 32 because that was um, what's the term for it? I forget now. It's, it's been a while since I actually had a separate network. A lot, of, a lot of stuff I do now is like repair stuff. Anyway, this is just me rambling about computer stuff, but I'd have like a whole scope out. Where it'd be like four pages of scopes, networks, why I associated this a number of devices to to it and stuff like that. That was enjoyable. Way more better than actually working. Also, before anyone says the whole, if you got time to lean, you got time to clean. That was actually said to me. Okay? <laughs> Someone actually told me. Someone, one of the bosses actually showed up and was like, 
you got time to Will, what are you doing? And I was like, just studying because no one's here. Well, you could clean the store. I'm like, clean the store like a half hour ago and no one has showed up since then. Literally wiped down everything. Deli cases, uh, did the mop, did, did a first coat of mopping because we always had to mop each night and was pretty much immaculate. I think, and they were like, well, there's still a bit of dust on the, uh, on the baseboard. And I was like, really? You're going to try to point out dust on that baseboard? It's like right, this like, stuff down here. I was like, who cares about the baseboard? Don't be looking at the, that, the baseboard. Everyone else is looking at it like, oh, look, that bag of chips has a hole in it from the mice. That was another issue. Also, uh, the one of the stores I worked at was right next to a bar. I, I think I worked at like seven different locations throughout the course of being a manager. Because basically they would just call you in the morning and be like, hey, we need you here. And be like, all right, cool. And you roll up there and you're like, yeah, I guess I'm working now. And is this maybe a sink, I guess? Maybe? There's hand soap there. So maybe, but this that's probably not a sink. Hmm. Maybe it's just hand sanitizer. Uh, but one of them was next to a bar and the amount of people who would show up after we closed because they were at the bar too long drinking, just like drunkenly going, I need a pound of cheese. It's like, sorry, we're closed. But I just need I just need a pound of cheese. And it's like, no, no, we're we're closed. Everything's shut down, floor soaked, because we're mopping it. Look. I just need a pound of cheese. I told my wife I'd get it. I, I was out too long. Didn't realize what time it was. I just need a pound of cheese. I'm like, no, we're the registers are shut down. The money's all put away. Yeah, they're, they're, at night, there's no money in these registers. I think there's like there's just change. We took the money and we had a, a we had a, in, I guess whatever this would be in. Actually, we, we used the walk-in. But um, there is a safe where you drop money in and you turn the handle and you can't get it back out until the one of the managers shows up with the key. And then there was another... Uh, another safe that was much smaller, probably about the size of this thing, which had the stacks in it. That was like the, the money that we would use for changing any of that. So you roll up in the morning, you had $40 in ones, you had $20 or uh, $40 in ones, $40 in fives, $60 in tens, and I don't think we started with any 20s. And then you had a roll of each, which usually just left the change in there. Never left bills in overnight. What am I doing? Can I just clock out now? Can I punch out? I'm just rambling at this point. It's still midnight. Has that clock changed? I don't think I've noticed that clock actually until just now. And right, let's go check the CCTV. Is that a carton of milk on the desk? That's gross. I'll just leave milk around like that. Just what? What do game? What? What? What do you want me to do here? All right. And also, I've realized to get out of the camera, it's click. All right, I guess we'll just exit. Kind of just want to like leave at this point. Very boring here. Okay, or I could just go second night. I guess that happened. Oh wow, I can actually see my job from over here. That's interesting. It's also the only thing that's lit up like a fluorescent uh, sign. Okay, so it's uh, what is it, like 30, 25 to midnight. Oh, what is this? Get umbrella? Yeah, sure. Okay. Cool. Oh. oh, I actually have my umbrella out. Oh, that's cute. Get my little umbrella. Oh, I thought that it changed from... I can't turn my flashlight on. The door's locked. I have my, my, have my umbrella. Oh, I need my flashlight. I thought I picked it up. Alright. So I have my flashlight. I have my umbrella. What's in the box? Open the box. That... And just close the door. Interesting. Oh, here we go. Another VHS tape. Right, what time is it? Okay, still 25. No time's passed at all. Let's watch the video. It seems like we have a stalker. One who's really interested in watching us. So where is this from? There's... And ferns. There's also someone giving us the tapes, which is a little concerning too. So what's interesting is they gave us the tapes. The first one was delivered to the store we work at. The second one was delivered personally to our house. Oh, rainy. Glad I grabbed that umbrella. Ugh. Look, I love I love the rain when I'm able to sleep. But like being out and about in the rain. 
is the worst. That's still broken. It's like, ugh, it's all, everything's damp and nasty. Just, like, if I'm at home and it's raining, it's awesome. It's like, it's like oh, I can just lounge on the couch, just listen to the rain hitting the wall, or the, the window. I, I like the sound. I also don't mind being out in the rain if I'm in somewhere that's covered. Like uh, a late rain, and I'm sitting on the deck or something like that, with the patio umbrella up. Mm, perfect. Love it. Okay. This is this is fine. We're just gonna cut through people's houses. I'm sure they won't mind. I don't know if that actually accomplished anything, because now I'm going backwards. There's this little crevice here. Yes, I can utilize the crevice again. Perfect. Alright, across the bridge. And we are good. There's our job right on the horizon. Like a beacon gesturing us in. Is there something? I think I'm hearing something that's like, probably just the rain. Oh, our homeless guy's not here though. Oh well. There we go. Let's talk to our. Where is he? Is he here? Where'd he go? And an encounter? Sure. Um... Oh. Ah! <laughs> Boo! I got you good, huh? No, I wasn't scared. Nope. Nope. Oh, I wasn't scared at all. Not at all. Wow, that coffee's gonna be really bad on my pounding heart already. Okay, okay. Fine, I'll stop. I promise I won't do it again. You're an ass. <laughs> Some products were missing on the shelf. Always keep the shelves full, that's our motto. So please restock them by tomorrow morning. Your manager. You know, you could have done some of this work. What, someone's been sending you VHS tapes? That sounds like a perfect idea for a horror flick. Hmm, it's probably just a prank. I doubt it's anything. I mean, come on, it's just a video. Is it you? Are you the one that's doing it? It's midnight again. So, okay, cool. Alright, guess we'll punch in, yeah. And then, oh, nope, oh, come on. There you go. Exit, yep. Alright, so let's restock the shelves. Let's see what's missing. We got some sandwiches. Sandwiches are missing. Beer and soda look good. That's that's good. That's good. Uh, and that's all fine too. So I guess we just gotta replace some sandwiches. Oh, there's also this thing here. Don't know what that is. Looks like lasagna. Gonna be honest, not a huge fan of lasagna. I thought there was like a leak. I thought I saw a puddle, but I think it's just a reflection I was seeing. Alright, so this stuff, which I don't know what it is. Let's see, can we put you in here? No, you go on the shelf over there. Unless, unless you're something else. Nope, I don't know what you are. Where do you go? Oh, there you go. Restock. Yes. There's chips. A lot of, a lot of chips. A lot of multicolored chips do. I don't know what these are. I would probably like the blue one. Probably not going to be blue raspberry. Probably actually going to be Remini or soda flavored. I do love me some Remini. Alright, so this is the frozen bags. You know where these go. I am locked in here. Okay. Um, who did this? Why? Yeah, put the put the chips down. Someone's in here. I got to get out. Uh, can I give you some assistance? I mean, look, okay, realistically, if we just open these up, we could yell and yell for help. Okay, we got out. I got sandwiches. Oh god, I thought, I, I forgot there was a neon sign there and I was like, what the hell is that? Is there someone here? No, there's no one there. Okay, before I restock the last one, I'm gonna check the CCTV. I swear to God, if that dude's there, he's gonna jump scare me again. I hate that that got me actually pretty good. Oh! Oh, I saw that. There was something crawling over there. Uh, okay, dude showed up. There's a guy. Hey, what's up, man? What's up? I'm Hama Hamada. Is there something wrong with the air conditioning? Your boss seemed desperate in keeping the food fresh. 
Hate to be working as a slave, but he pays me well, you know. Don't mind me. I'll just quickly check the outside units and head right out. Okay. Uh, you do that. While you're doing that, I'm going to restock the last thing. Can't sprint while working, actually. I just realized. You can sprint in the, uh, the open area. But, oh, I thought the door was open. I was going to say, not cool. Alright, so he's going to walk around. We restocked that. There you go. All our chores are done for today. We can check out the bathroom. Let's just make sure the bathroom is safe. Bathroom is safe. Let's go ahead and close that. Now, so we're going to pull up the camera and watch the dude working. See what happens. I'm pretty sure it's not going to end well for him. I probably should close that door behind me just, just in case. Right, there he is. Store safe. And zoom in. We'll watch him. Watch the master at work. See how he fixes the air conditioner. Okay. Right. I'm sure nothing wrong is nothing bad's gonna happen. He'll probably fix it quick quick quickly. Probably just needs to hit it with a hammer or something like that. That's how our conditioners work, I think. Probably. I mean at least my understanding. Or just kick it. You can kick it, probably do the trick too. What is Okay. Yeah, something scary gonna happen? Okay, it looks like looks like he he's fine. Yeah, he's just he's walking away. You, I you know you could actually come in through the back door. You don't have to walk away around in the rain. You don't have an umbrella either. Right, pull up the pull up the front camera here. Wait from the show up. Could just be taking a nice leisurely stroll. Okay, we got... There you go. He's showing up. Whoa, you are very pale. Okay. Hi! You look similar to the person who was... Uh... Who came up to the door before and ran off. You okay there? You appear to be floating. Oh, oh, okay. You're back, you're back on track. Oh, is he just gonna get in his van and drive off? What the? Dude, you didn't even say hi to me. Or bye to me. Jerk. Okay, who are you looking at? You gonna buy it? You gonna buy that? You just gonna... You just window shopping. Come on. What are you, what are you doing? You know, we're, getting, we're getting behind the counter. We're gonna keep an eye on her. Someone that pale? I think you're a ghost. Alright, she seems fine. She's just buying some snacks. Can't blame her at all. Sometimes you just want to buy snacks. Hey, are you the only one working here? I can't believe this. What kind of manager puts a girl in a midnight shift alone? Uh, the kind who's not worried, but apparently I should be worried because someone's just asking if I'm working alone. I see you have no choice. Well, at the very least, I'll give you my protection charm. Now be careful. Oh, why well, don't take it? Yeah, I'll take it, I guess. For now. Uh, no, don't use the CCTV yet. Close the door first. Now use CCTV. Be a lot safer with the door closed. Mm, nothing really going on here. Although, again, I feel like we should be concerned because the, the tape's all gone. All torn, torn off. We're going to... Seems like there's nothing really going on here. It's a very slow burn kind of game. That is for sure. Let's go ahead and just get out of the CCTV, I guess. I'll go leave. Do a quick look around the store, see if I miss anything. Anything else needs to be rest tells me. God, I, can't, I gotta remember. Okay. Alright. Mm-hmm. Yep. The toilet's just flushing itself. Oh, the door's... The door closed. And locked. Uh... Toilet, the toilet is clean, I promise. You can let me out now. Oh, 
they made a mess. I gotta clean this up now. How did they make a mess out of? What is it? These aren't these magazines? Oh, there's stuff over here too, duh. Alright, well that's cool. Spooky ass ghosts throwing stuff around, making messes and all that. What the hell is that noise? What the hell is that noise? What the f- It sounds like there's something clicking. What is that? What was that? Yeah, that's your CCTV. Screw closing the door. Also, why is that milk still out there? I'm concerned about the safety of that milk. Oh, okay! That was neat. That was real cool. Don't be there when I open the door. Oh, oh cool. She made another mess. That's real rad. Oh, so I'm so glad that happened. Pick up talismans? Oh, God. Sure. Let's see what other evil we can invoke here. Why not? What am I doing with the talismans now? Stick them up in the store or something? I, I look, okay. A, a, a literal ghost just appeared, jump scared the camera, and now we have talismans. Where are we? I don't know what that sound is. It sounded like the rain, but I don't trust it. Okay, let's go to the counter. Do I just want to carry this now? What am I doing with this? What do I want to do with this? Yeah, that's, I guess we'll use CCTV. Oh, cool. The camera's all fuzzy now. How could, how could that happen? Wonder if it was a ghost. It was definitely the ghost. God, that one neon sign keeps freaking me out. Uh, well, at least I do know that the ghost is tall. So my fear of the neon sign actually does fit. Okay. We have the talismans. Uh. I keep thinking I'm hearing footsteps, but I think they're my own footsteps. I'm gonna run back. Um, there's this. Which I'm guessing I can go into now? Yep. Yep, I can. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Exercise the door. Yeah, sure. Why not? Mm-hmm. Yep, let's do that. Let's. I need a young priest and an old priest. Alright. Well. We did that. Oh, the air conditioner's working. He left his wrench here. Alright. Well, we're gonna go back in through here. What? Why am I carrying his wrench? Anything back here I wanna check out? I mean, I guess... Do I want to fix the air conditioner? I'll, I'll take it. I'll take a crack at it. Just hit it with the, the wrench. It should be fine. Open AC? Yeah. Oh, because there's a blue thing in there. So we're going to check out whatever this is. Okay. I have received a key. Oh, I'm guessing this key probably opens the door. Oh, God. Oh, why am I doing this? Four. Manager. It just says four in it. Oh god, the door's closed now. So our manager's dead. Along with the mice. And there's recordings. What does four mean? <gasps> okay. Uh, you know, you don't have to open the door. That's fine. You, you, I'll just stay, just stay here. I got a TV. I got a friend. I got more little pets. I got uh, VHS tapes to, to eat, and a bucket to use the bathroom in. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Just a lot of noises I'm hearing. No, no, no. Ah! Whoa! You, you moved. 
Your head was down earlier. Your head was definitely down earlier. Third night? Why is there a third night? No! No, there's no third night. We just don't go back to that job if we make it out of there alive. Was it a nightmare? Was it all a dream? We just don't go back to the job. No. It's just... That's cool. Door's locked. Mm hmm Bathroom? This? Oh, great. There's a package there. The VHS tape I found. What does it say for? Do I need to know four for a reason? God. Okay, that's the picture of the the place I went to. Yeah, we know that. Okay, I was gonna say I can definitely see everything, but I can't see see. Like everything was very dark. Alright, guess we're going back to our Back to our, our very safe and quiet and, you know, peaceful job at the convenience store where our manager is dead and there is a ghost and someone gave me a lucky talisman that wasn't so lucky, apparently. And uh, little demon things which disappear from the camera when I see them and a lot of more problems. I'm sure we'll be fine. This is okay. Take our normal path, which is this way. Maybe we want to scoot past here, go up here. Go across here. And we find that one building. Oh, that, not that one. No, actually, yeah, we can do this one. Yeah. This is fine. Alright. We just follow this pathway out. To our completely safe and not at all haunted place of work. We make thirteen dollars an hour, which is not enough for this BS at all. Uh. Mm hmm. Okay. Just our homeless guy, our homeless friend, is not out there anymore, or at all. Don't. No. 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 You are not gonna jump scare me again. This door's open. That sounds bad. This is a bad start. Uh, do I want to clock in first or do I just want to go check out that hut? It wasn't a dream. The vent's off. It was not a dream. No, 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 it was not. Can't open that door though. Okay. Okay, I guess I have to clock in first. But first, we are going to close all the doors that are open because safety is paramount in a situation such as this, including the bathroom door, because who knows what horrors await there. Maybe someone had the bow blunts. Maybe they've been sitting out for a while. Can we comment on these? They look, they look, they actually do look delicious in like that PS2 style graphics way. Don't you freaking jump scare me. Okay. All right, there's no way to punch in. I'm just going to go home. I'm actually going to check the CCTV out and see what I can find. There's no way to... Hey, the camera's fixed. Neat. That's good. But yet again, there's no way to punch in. I'm not actually supposed to be working, I guess. Probably shouldn't even be behind the counter, to be honest. Oh! Okay. Mm-hmm. Let's go back here. Okay. So, I got behind the counter. I got, a, got from around the counter. And everything here is all Silent Hill. Silent Hill 24-7. At least the magazines are still okay. Bathroom still looks pretty safe to me. And... Mm, do I dare? Do I dare? I did dare. That is locked. 
Not even gonna bother. Just gonna close that door. We'll leave the bathroom door open just in case. What is that sound? Can I leave? No, I can't. That's good. Just gonna go here. Oh, I can check out the CCTV. Oh, oh, hey, welcome, comfort in this time of need of mine. Uh huh. Uh huh. Whoa, there's something there. There is a child perusing the goods. I can't really see them from that angle. Okay, there they are. I can't. I have lost. Okay, no, I've not lost. I've regained sight of the child. There it is. What are you, what are you looking for there? You need some help? It's up on the top shelf? Are these TVs? What's going on with it? Oh, they are TVs, actually. Okay. Alright, where are you off to? What are you doing? Just walking in circles? Just go ahead and try to get an okay ish image. Okay. I. I guess I get go from behind the counter or behind the, off the cameras. Oh, can I? The child is gone. I repeat, the child is gone. All right, let's go ahead and use the CCTV again. Where did you go? All right, you're on that first shelf. Maybe I want to like run into them, like literally run into them. They were like right around here. Oh, I just okay, I just turned the TVs on. Oh, good. Oh, good. So so glad I can turn these TVs on now. Maybe I gotta turn the TVs on that the child is looking at. Or what if I just turn them all on? Oh. Uh oh. Okay. Yeah, it's, I gotta turn the TV on. I need to turn the TVs that the kid is looking at on. That makes sense. It's now it's just a matter of figuring out which TVs they are caring about. So it looks like it's the second one from the back, the bottom. I really should probably draw this somehow. No, I'll just remember. Uh, no, I won't. But drawing it, drawing would be too much of a pain in the butt. So second one from the bottom, back inside. What is that one? Okay, maybe I just want to do this in like sections. I can do two of them. So it looks like it was back here, over here, and then turn this one on. And then it walked over here. He looked, oh God, which one was it? Oh, it was one of these. I think it was that one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wing it. Hmm. And then, let's see, pull the camera back up. All right. So now he goes over here and looks up at the top one. So it looks like the third from the, the, the topmost one on the right hand side from here. I hope this is right. I mean, this is definitely what I need to do. I probably actually should have watched him because he's going to go towards that one. He's going to go to the, the final one right now. I'm going to miss it. I'm too busy futzing around with the uh, things. Alright, so are we good? Oh no, it was the opposite one. Damn. Oh. I'll just turn that. I should be able to turn that one off. I think. Alright, and then this one. It's hard to see where he's going. Oh, there you go. This one. This camera should cover it. Okay, so literally the first one there. Alright. So opposite, opposite side on here. On the center area. First one here. Turn you on. And then 
No. Oh, crap. I screwed up. I, I should have turned that one off first. That one. It was over here. Uh, crap. Which one was it? I forget now. I'll, 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 get, to, I'll, get, I'll get it later. This one. And then I'll just have to go back to the camera footage, find it. I'll just jump ahead for you guys because it's going to take, he might be in like a loop for a while. All right, so I rewatched it. He stares at this one, I believe. We're good? We're not good. Oh, damn it. All right, this is going to take me a while. I gotta, I'm going to actually have to draw this out. I'm just going to jump ahead to where I find the correct ones. Okay, so rewatching it, I wrote down exactly which ones it looks like he hits. That actually does not come out well on my green screen, but it was the top first one here. It was the middle third one, so one, two, three, middle third. It was the middle second on this end. So, yeah, I think that, that's the right one, yeah. I guess it's not really middle because there's four of them, but that's okay. And then the bottom second. Please be right. It's not making the dirt dirt sound. So that's promising. You know what's not promising is that sound. Oh, hello, I see you. Okay, I can actually see you through the uh, thing. Are we gonna go check out? Do I really wanna approach? Oh God, do I wanna approach the ghost? Okay. All right. All right. Yep. Ghosts are here. Mm-hmm. Ghosts are here. All right. I'm out. Uh, I'm going to go... I didn't even punch in, actually. I just realized I, I, I never actually punched in. Oh, God. The door's opening and closing again. Oh, another tape showed up. Oh, bring it home. Fourth night. Why is there a fourth night? Again. After the last... The, the, after the one night, we should have just stopped. Just call it quits. Is there anything in the box? Doesn't look like there's anything in the box, actually. Oh. VHS tape. Oh, I can put the VHS tape in the box or in the trash. I mean, I'm going to watch it. We might as well. Are you sure? Yeah. I just heard sniffling and it actually sounded like it was in my room. That really concerned. Oh, no. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Alrighty then. They are peeping on us. Actually, we don't. I don't remember getting a package, so they probably left the box in our house itself while we were sleeping. I'm okay. I'm laying on our bed. We're laying on our bed right now. I can't move. I can't move the camera. I don't have a flashlight. So I wonder what happens. I'm guessing putting... I... I can't move. I'm guessing if we put the tape in the box, uh, we ship it to someone else and curse them with the, the problem. Very very the ring-esque if that's the case. I'm guessing if we just put it in the trash, we can continue on our merry way. Oh, uh oh. Oh no, please don't. I would prefer to live alone if that's the alternative. Of a spooky ghost lady in the middle of the night creeping into my bed. A game by Chilla's Art. Okay. That's the end. I wonder if it's going to let me... Also, one of the things I found out, when you hit escape, there's actually a way to turn off that filter effect. Uh, I guess we don't really have a way to shortcut these. So... I'm going to see if the game lets me reload the ending. I'm not going to replay the whole game again. But the game lets me reload just the ending... I'm going to check out those other, uh, those other options of putting it in the trash or putting it in the uh, in the box. That's the word. I forgot the word box for a second. That's scary. But uh, if not, then we'll just go to the main menu and do my outro there. So see you guys there. Okay, so no, it doesn't. It just lets me go right back here. But here, I can actually show you guys what I was talking about. You can actually turn this camera effect off if you don't like that. Um, personally, I wish I had realized that. 
I wish I had realized that earlier because that would have saved a lot of issues with the spookiness, I think, seeing stuff. But I feel like that kind of adds a lot to the spooky is having the camera effect, especially that black, that, that uh, the vignette on the sides. That's very fitting. But um, yeah, I I like this actually. Definitely worth like three, the three bucks is on Steam right now. So if you want to go check it out, I'll have a link down below. You got to bring a flashlight. Yep. So uh, I have a link down below if you want to check it yourself and maybe maybe you want to go get those other two endings. Oh, yeah, I gotta get. I forgot about the. I literally forgot about the game I just started an hour ago. But uh, yeah, if you guys like it, let me know. If you like this video, let me know in the comments down below. Give me a thumbs up. I really do appreciate that. Helps the whole YouTube algorithm, which is big. And this is one of the longer videos, which don't tend to do all that well, to be completely honest. People tend to like uh, short videos just because it's easier to digest. But if you guys like this, let me know. I can do some longer videos in a, uh, once in a while. I'm fine with that. I like playing scary games. It's always great. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. And if you did, let me know in the comments down below. Leave a thumbs up. I think I already said all this. And make sure to subscribe so you updates for, get updates from release new content or go live while live streaming. And as always, have a great day. Remember to burn bright. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Thank you very much for my Patreon supporters down below. I just want to say thank you again for the continued support. And if you enjoy the content and you want to see your name down here, there's links down below to both my Patreon as well as my Twitter. And if you can just show some support by subscribing, I really appreciate that. Have a great day. Remember to burn bright.